Okay, so now let's see how we do this in Python. So there's something I'd like to check into source control like my colleagues to use and, and probably extend as well. So a little bit more typing, but something that's better in, in, in multiple ways. So I'm gonna write this in a file. So we call it imaginatively bug report.py. And uh, so what we do is we create a, a, a class, which I might as well call bug report. And uh, we inherit that from the GDB command class. And uh, you can give it a doc string. So this will work with help, right? So um, collect required info for a bug report. So in so so yeah, you get nice um, inbuilt. You can type help at the GDB command line when this is all done. Uh, we need to give it a constructor. So it's just a bit of boilerplate. And uh, so um, so what we do is call the the superclass constructor um, and uh, we give it a name and a command confusing this is called a command class um, but there's different ones so there's maintenance commands and there's the, the obscure commands and various things we'll just we'll look, maybe see this in a bit but we'll just call this command user okay so that's a little bit of boilerplate and um, then we make a function called invoke which is where the magic happens. Um, it takes an arg, which is just a string, which contains all the arguments. And uh, it also takes a Boolean from TTY. So you can know whether this is being run from a script or at the command line. And uh, so what do we need to do? So we need to uh, do GDB execute. Um, uh, what do we call it? Show, uh, show, no, not so bad. We're going to come to that. This is uh, thread uh, apply or backtrace full, and uh, we'll do os dot system you name dash a. Simple enough. We'll need to import os there, of course. Um, that's pretty much it uh, for the simplest. But except I need to instantiate one of these classes. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen. So that I think is, that's it. So let's start a new one. Uh, let's go, uh, yeah, GDB threads and source bug report.py. And um, let's just run it a little bit. Da, da, da. So now when I go bug report, ah, uh, my pagination thing again, but basically that's working. I can go help bug report. Cool. Uh, so pagination. So as we remember in the user defined command one, we just there's a bit of a hack. We just turned pagination off with a hammer. If somebody we don't want it leaving pagination off, so maybe we turn it on before the function ends. But then maybe somebody's turned their pagination off, and they find typing bug report always has the side effect of leaving their pagination on, not what we would want. So, but we've got Python here, so we can be a bit more a bit more flexible. So we could, for example, you could go pagination equals GDB execute. Um, show pagination, and this is a nice little thing. You can go to string equals true, so that will execute. At least if I could type, that will execute the command, uh, but return a string rather than um, write it to the console. And so ends, and if that ends with um, on, then my pagination is on. And then at the so then I can go if pagination gb execute set pagination off and inverse down there. So now let's source bug report and let's run bug report. Nice. Um, and my pagination state should be what it was, which it is. Good. Um, there's a better way to do this though. That's that this works. Although if they ever change what you know what the GDB pagination prints, you know this is kind of fragile, right? Um, so a uh, better way to do this is GDB parameter pagination, right? Um, so to show you what that looks like, um, so Python p equals GDB parameter pagination. Print p. Okay, so just so that's a bit nicer. 
Um, now, also, we want to log it to a file, of course. Um, so we could do the same GDB execute set logging file. That would work. Um, but we can perhaps be a little bit nicer as we're writing some Python here. So I can go um, f equals open uh, temp bug report because obviously I might actually want to construct some kind of unique name um, in practice. That'll this will do for me now. Uh, so remember our two string thing. So I can go to string equals true and um, like that. Um, and here I'll go, well now we'll go um, f dot close and we will um, da, 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 do what we need. I don't know why I mixed quote styles. I shouldn't really do that, but anyway. So I think that's looking pretty good. Um, uh, in practice, I, I would yes, yeah, so you can uniqueify this name. But let's um, so let's just get rid of the old one there and make sure this works properly. Bug report and uh, oh no, I didn't source source bug report source bug report dot pi and now we run it. No, no such file directly to bug report. Okay, uh, of course. So we need to. Uh, open that for writing. Uh, there we go. So, and a shell cat temp. There we go. So that's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, we'll look at um, hooks in the next installment, which will be a bit shorter than this one, but um, hopefully that's been a useful introduction to uh, uh, user-defined commands in GDB. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.